Hello, I am Fantastic and Fantastic, and today I'm going to be playing through September Quest Level 9 with two Inas. There are no teammates available, so Ina has advantages because her auto fall attack is massive. It is 5 million per liter, which means 10 million total, and things of low health can be cheesed if they have super resolve, etc. One turn of Awoken Binds is rude. I'm going to just quickly... Oops. Do that. Super Resolve. Excellent. On to the next floor. I've got all of them overcharging into different active skills, and I think they make rows, so that's nice. This needs auto fall of attack as well, so this is no problem. Super Resolving here. Do I even need the movement time? Mm hmm. Well, I'll use my unit here. Bloop. Could that actually potentially execute the... What's it called? Ooh, auto fall attack. 10 million auto attack is big. So I'm gonna use another thing to make another set of rows, or another group of dark orbs, which is easier. Oh, combo shield. Oh, I need movement time. Hmm. Two and a half seconds to make seven combos. That doesn't seem like a good winning prospect. But then again, I might as well just do it once. I can try. It doesn't hurt. There's nothing better to do. So I see one, two, three, four. Nowhere near enough. One more. Yes! I did it! <laughs> okay, so yeah, uh, make sure your Ina is up to override time debuff, then it would be much easier. But, hopefully this video provides you some insight as to what you could expect in this dungeon. Yeah, Ina seems great because, according to Quan, who has provided wonderful information, they have 15 million health with super resolve at 50%, which means the 10 million auto fall attack is enough to overcome the super resolve post 50%, which in turn makes this much easier. So, once again, hopefully this video provides you some insight as to what you could expect in this given dungeon. I wish you all the very best of luck in your own pad adventures, and happy puzzling!